I'm just fucking with you. Feminism doesn't bug me, you know? It doesn't bother me. I'm not afraid of it or anything like that, you know, for the simple fact that I know it's gonna fail, you know? And I, I take comfort in that. I do. I'm not rooting for it because I know it doesn't like me. Um, yeah. Do you know why, you know why I think it's not gonna survive? Why it's not gonna be successful anyways? Because they still need men's help to make it happen. I don't understand it. I don't understand why women just can't work with each other and make this shit happen. They keep coming to us like, you more men need to care about this issue. Where are the men to stand up and say something? Like, why do I have to fucking say something? This is your fucking problem. Why are you always dragging us into this shit? I'm trying to learn to pick my battles when I date girls. I usually argue with women all the time, man. I'm stupid like that, you know? Like I dated this girl one time. She was like really into like women's issues. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. Like one time she came up to me and she goes, okay, explain this to me, Bill. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? Hmm? Huh? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. That's why I get the dollar more an hour. No, think about it. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. That if something fucked up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start, like rabbit dog, run honey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out, like yes, he does have a knife. Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for first? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? Bullets hurt me too, why the fuck do I gotta stay in the vault? Oh, that's my point, man. Where are all the feminists in those situations? You know what I mean? You can't find them. There are no feminists in a house fire. That's a, that's a guarantee. You could take the most hardcore feminist, some chick right in your face, like, he's showing us a ton of a bitch. Little short, little haircut, the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Second those flames break out, she's gonna twist those little hairs into pigtails. No, I'm just a girl. I wanna go play jump rope. And leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. No, but I'm not, I'm not a dick though. I'm not, I'm not saying I think a woman should make a doll less an hour to do the same job. All I'm saying is if you're gonna make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listen to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. You get all the benefits or whatever. Wait, I have, I, I have a, a question in regards to just becoming a dad. One of my favorite bits of material that you did, I thought it was one of the ballsiest pieces of material that you did, was in a few specials ago when you talked about how women praise each other all the time for, for being mothers. And they say, being a mother is the hardest job out Most there. Most difficult job Most in the... Difficult. Oprah said that. Oprah said that, yeah. Has, yeah. That, has your opinion on that, on that phrase, changed at all since, since no. you've had a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not the most difficult job on the planet. It just isn't. Dude, I did roofing in July. I almost, as a redhead, I almost died. There's people, there's people that work on like oil. What was that movie that guy made? The oil, the, the fucking, you know, they there drill will be blood. oil. What is it? There will be blood. With Not the... there will be blood. The, uh, out in the ocean, they would drill. I can never remember the names. Deepwater. Mark Wahlberg yeah, was Deepwater there. Deepwater Horizon, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys were working on, on an oil rig. The fucking thing blows up. <laughs> They're on fire. They gotta jump into water that's on fire. <laughs> Salty water into their wounds. You gotta swim out of that oil and fire and then tread water. Praying to God that the Coast Guard is gonna get there before the sharks do. <laughs> now talk to me about a toddler. Oh, he was so fussy today. I just, he wouldn't eat his peas. 
Yeah, and just the level of reward that is, you know, as annoying as a kid is, like they smile at you and it's over. It's over. So, I mean, you, you don't get that, you know, working on an oil rig when your buddy's greasy face lights up. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It really is all worth it. <laughs> no, it's just, it's pandering. It's pandering to the same way I just said I'm gonna, I just became a dad to get the applause. I liked it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take the subway out here. I'm just going to yell that on the platform like a crazy person. Just became a dad. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing stopping you other than the fact that you guys are just into destroying each other. No, now it's going to get quiet. I see all that sneaky shit you do. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, you know, that league would be doing better numbers than the NBA. Oh my God. That's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Oh my God, you're a goddess. You're gorgeous. You look great in that bikini. I would kill myself if I looked like that. Keep eating, keep eating. Lose a toe, you fat bitch. It's just... No means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Look, look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. What are you doing? Oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me. So I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. All right? But then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Oh, your honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> yeah, and you just sit me like, she didn't fucking say it like that. She didn't say it like that. Being so damn tough. Just know it's okay to cry. Cause you're not alone. Go find yourself a home. I was going back and forth with somebody um, this morning, an East Coast friend of mine who I hadn't talked to in a while. How you enjoy being a dad and blah, 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 blah. And then she hits me up with the whole, hey, I'm turning 50 this year. I am not happy about it. I said, yeah, I turned 50 last year. She goes, how was turning 50 for you? You know, she goes, you're a guy. You probably don't care. It's much harder for a woman, especially with our careers. Oh, did I have fun with that? You know, <laughs> I just wrote back, Wait! Jesus fucking Christ. You know what I mean? F white women complaining is one of the funniest. F it's like you got a fucking house and a beautiful family. What is the fucking pr It's so much harder for me. You're going to outlive me by six to eight years. So me turning 50 is like me turning like 56, 57, 58. You don't hear me complaining, you know? You never hear me complain on this podcast. This is nothing but positivity, rainbows and fucking unicorns. Um... Yeah, I love that shit. It's harder, for, it's harder for women to go to the gym. It's harder for us to lose weight. Well, then fucking work harder. You know? Everybody's different. Oh, is that where it's harder? You know what's, you know what's harder for me? Uh, uh, trying to get some woman to pay the cover charge and buy me drinks. You know it's harder for me? Di divorce court. Uh, outliving you. I mean, it, 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 it balances out, ladies. Getting child support. Yeah, that's harder for me because I'll be the one paying it. Then all of a sudden it costs 900 grand a month to raise a fucking two-year-old, right? I, I just don't understand the constant complaining by white women. Okay, you're white. You live in America. Shut up. Okay, wait till the other problems are solved and then we'll get to you. You're at the meat counter. Your number isn't up yet. Wait your turn. All right? Wait your turn, Abigail. Do you know how much harder? It's so much easier for you to go to jail. It's not easier. Men's lives are harder because we have to live with you guys. <laughs> oh, man. I want to become friends with a lesbian couple, and I want to, like, be friends with, like, the, 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 the chick in the relationship that's got to handle more of the dude shit. 
you know, because, you know, opposites attract. And I would think even like in the lesbian community, there's going to be somebody, you know, who's out there swinging the axe, getting the fucking firewood while the other one's in there making the muffins. That's the lesbian I want to talk to right into my podcast, please. You know, I want to know if, if those lesbians on average die sooner than 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 the, the, the dainty lesbian, you know. The lesbian who's got to go out on the fucking roof and adjust the fucking direct TV satellite fucking thing <laughs> in the middle of the fucking rain. That's who I want to that's who I want to hear from. That's the study I would be doing. <laughs>